So, welcome back. This is Air Caves and Armok. And we're commentating Zaki and Rafig. This is Loser's Finals. Wait, no, Loser's Semis. Sorry. Loser's Finals is, is next. It's a best of three or best of five? This is best of three. Yeah. Both these characters that Zaki knows very well. I don't know how much Rafig knows about Mario. I don't, uh, from my experience, I don't think uh, he knows the most about the matchup, considering he never actually manages to stay long enough to uh, face any of the, uh, is it face Aki or uh, Typhon, who are the resident Mario mains. Mm -hmm. What's surprising me is that they somewhat banned Battlefield in this matchup. Because they both favor ba Battlefield. Yeah, maybe they both know that like if either one of them is fought like one of those up air combos is so they don't want really to give the other that advantage. Maybe. They're just both just like respecting each other with the band. Mm. Yeah, so uh, looking into this, how do you think this uh, this matchup goes? Uh, they both have very good frame data, um, mm -hmm. so as far as punishes go, they have to be very on point, very tight, but they're both good players, so I think that's a problem for them. Um, they both can turn and grab into a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. So whoever gets like, the first real like, grab combo. Oh, um, but the thing, uh, the thing is with Zaki is that he has a much better grab itself. Like, uh, because... No, like, like, a lot less than lag than that. Zerzu misses the grab, it's pretty bad. Right? Yeah, it's, it has a lot of startup, has a lot of end lag. It's, uh, it's actually a move that people can react to. Yes. There, that's not the most common in this game. Most common. But yeah, Zaki has, uh, has a huge advantage in actually getting a grab. Especially since he has a reflector, with a pretty mm. good reflector. He can reflect the stuns that we saw earlier. Yeah. So that's not one of the ways that, um... Their feet, you know, convert to a grab. Oh yeah. Well, he uh, he can. It's just that he needs to be on point with it. Yeah, he has to like get a reach or something. He has to know. Mm. The thing with the down B though is that it's actually pretty punishable. If you're shield or spot dodge it, then uh, easy FS goes into this animation where she's forced to just do another uh, flip kick. This Yep, so uh, it's actually pretty punishable in that stage because there was no hitbox. But uh, looking at that, Zaki ended the stock really quickly. Zaki's trying to tag on some extra credit here. Oh, yeah. And save him with some new reverse fireballs. Trying to keep his distance because Zero Suit is fast. Mm -hmm. She will try and kill him. She will try or succeed? She will succeed. What are you a problem? <laughs> uh, commentator's blessing. Commentator's blessing. It goes both ways. There are curses and there are blessings. He doesn't want to put them in the middle. It's a very test match. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, is that if uh, ZS is in there, hits your shield, it's... Uh, it, in actually, I'm pretty sure it's actually positive on your shield, so... Uh, ZSS has the first hit of her can react first, and with a frame one jab, it's very easy to keep uh, Zaki off. It's just timing those uh, neutral airs so that uh, she hits the ground quickly. It, that's the tough part. Yeah. Some of are so good. Yeah. Ooh! Going for that spike. Oh, Zaki goes for a spike as well. Yeah. Uh, from what I, I can say is that. From the characters that I've seen, Zaki is probably one of the better spikers on in around here because, like, he plays Falco, which has a, had a spike, has a spike, and Meteor on this fan has. Mm-hmm. And then there's uh, he actually managed to get a uh, spike with Link once. Mm, yeah, his and, is really good. and that sp the spike with Link is extremely difficult to hit. Yeah, if you like basically right when you're out. Yeah, you have to, it, it's it's a risky move. You have to mm -hmm. like read where they're gonna be and expect them to use a defensive option. Yeah, Zaki really likes using uh, that uh, fl using flood to uh, really set up spikes. Set up spikes set up and as well as uh, keep. Uh, his opponents off the stage, which I think is a very, very good use for Flood. Yeah, he was, yeah, I heard him talk about it earlier, he's like, why does no one ever use Flood? He's watching a Mario video, he's like, why does nobody ever use Flood? And that's, I used to play Mario myself, I was a very good Mario, but I used to be like, why does anybody use this? It seems so good. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a free win box. Yeah, it's a free win box, and it's a damn good one, too. Especially in characters like Captain Falcon or like Janet Good. Their recovery is so... Oh, oh that, that is unfortunate. unfortunate. Jinx. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and Zaki ties it up. Well, actually, no, that 1%. That 1% is actually going to kill Zaki. He is the 1%. Oh my gosh! Of that. Oh, is that it's putting by one percent now? Right? Yeah, but his uh, his shields got really low at that point. Yeah, something I noticed was that he, I I've, I've rarely seen a shield broken in Trekko, but he does use it to maximum the ability. His shield pressure in Smash Four is very different than in like melee or something. Yeah, the shield recharges really quickly. Yeah, really quickly. I wonder if they changed that. How that would change the meta? Probably would change the meta. Yeah, because I feel like if they changed the oh, they already uh did change the formula for the shield to make it have more shield lag, uh, but if they actually change it so that it recharges slower, that would actually make people more careful with their shield. Mm. Uh, Which means they probably look for offensive options. Yeah. Be better than you know. uh, do you think uh, that it would affect Zaki's play a lot? Uh, I don't know. I feel like Zaki is comfortable with both playstyles. It's pretty mm. versatile, so... Yeah, and this match is looking to be a very, very close match. Oh, he goes for the wrong stage fight. Yep. Oh, oh I, I was, was expecting a back air. Something. Yeah. Because that move comes out really quickly. Definitely. Like, for how quick it comes out and how quick it ends. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, he tried to go for something fancy there. Yeah. No, but as I was saying with back air, how quick it, uh, it is and how quick it, uh, quickly it ends, it has so much kill power. It is really good. Especially if you like ledge trumping. It's like, mm. so good. It's like, wall somebody off. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh my god, he did not reflect that. That was a free reflect. I must say, Rafik played that perfectly because he did jab 1, jab 2, and then got, off, got, got out of there. Because if he did jab 3, he was going to get grabbed, and he was going to get back thrown, and that might have been able to do it. it. Sure. So Rafik played that perfectly. Very surprised that just ran into his stuff. Yeah, maybe he did try to knock it, but it's gonna go off. But hey, it's uh, now going into game two. Are we okay? Now we're seeing the ba uh, the battlefield slash uh, dreamland pick that I was expecting in game one. Now let's see how devastate who can get the devastating combo first. As far as this Nobody's going to grab yet. No. Ooh, very nice up smash. Oh. Yeah, just slipping right under those long legs. Just slipping right under. Mm-hmm. Rafik is playing very, uh, very well. Uh, he's, uh, keeping away from Zaki. Uh, and ma and uh, are the most part managing to avoid those grabs. And uh, is Zaki only managing to get one up there? I think feel like he could have gotten more. Maybe. Perhaps. I actually totally, totally missed it. Not gonna lie. Ooh, those angled forward tilts are serving Rafiq really well. That same as if Zero Suit Sam, she has great frame data and pretty good range. She has long legs and she has a gem piece that come out of that long range. Yeah. Really long range. Hey, she fights with heals very effectively. Yeah, probably one of the best heal fighters in the game. Her name's Bayonetta. I gotta say, Bayonetta, I think, is better, uh, makes better use of her heals. Yeah, that giant down smash. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, no. I know who oh, has God. the best. <laughs> no, I think I know who has the best uh, heals in the entire game Zelda. Her forward air and back air. Oh, those seem really hard. <laughs> yeah, those heels. They actually look so satisfying. Like, we won't have sleep on Zelda, but she's not. Amazing, Ooh! But we could very have, well done by Rafiq! Yeah, that was a decent meet here, Yeah. Um, but definitely, I just got a ball there. It's like, he thought he had it, he could have just back air to no yeah. and then for Rafiq, unless he turns it. So, you were saying about Zelda? Oh, yeah, she's. She if you hit her stuff, she feels pretty satisfying. Yeah. That her neutral is like so janky. Like, like there, there's a video like talking about her hitboxes and like why short characters just like, destroy her. She, she can't. Uh, she can't land any aerials against them. She can't land aerials against them. A lot of her tilts, small characters can just like, like they'll just be there and they'll just miss. Yeah, just the only one that won't will be is down tilt. Yeah. It's pretty sad. No, yeah. It was a sad life. And Din's fire is more like Din's failure. Like such a bad move. <sighs> Yeah, it's like, 
Zelda has always been worse than Sheik, and it's somewhat disappointing. PM should be <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm talking about the main Smash games. PM is the main Smash game in my heart. It is in mine, too, but... It's such a fun to watch game. Yeah. Yep, so, uh, going into this, Rafiga's had a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, it seems like this stage has benefited uh, Zaki a little bit more. Very nice spot dodge, by the way. Yeah, right, right now they're, they're playing like it's empty. They're yeah, like, uh... Talk about those platforms. Oh, there they go. Yep. Rafig is playing ext uh, extremely safe. He does this when he feels, uh, when he gets that high percent or he feels like he could die. He, when he plays extremely safe and just tries to, uh, wait, uh, wait for his opponent to overextend. He's done it against me uh, a few times and it's, ooh, like there. That is what I was talking about. He waited for Zaki to overextend and then punished heavily. But yeah, I, I've seen it happen to me a, a few times, especially when I'm uh, when I go into my super safe mode. So it's just the two of us chasing each other down using using moves that just are safe on it. Uh, safe. Oh, that back hit extremely powerful. All right, it's pretty even game, eighteen percent. Yep. That can be taken over with one combo, as I say. Yep. Oh, actually, shielded. Yeah, the ZSS uh, is a fast baller and zero percent. That will fast baller can actually down. Fall really fast and shield the next hit. Yep, if they DI downwards. Yep. Uh, Which, actually, what uh, Jackie normally does against fast fall is he knows that, and he usually converts to the jab combo that comes out faster in the up tilt, and it's more difficult to shield. Hmm, fair enough. That, yeah, uh, fast fallers uh, can, like most other characters, you DI up and away from Amaria's up tilt to get out of it, but uh, fast fallers, you DI down. Yeah. Only works on some percentage, so unfortunately. Yeah. Fast fallers curse against Mario. Ooh, that was a beautiful up beat. Just the up beat needed. Yeah. But, uh, Zaki, uh, Zaki is at a very good, big advantage here. Uh, Rafi can definitely pull, uh, bring the fact that he's going to need to, uh... One ZSS chain combo and he's got it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, at any percentage, one ZSS chain combo and he's got it. At this point, I'm just thinking that Rafi is looking for just damage right now until about... I would say 80% then going uh, then looking for uh, Zaki to overextend. But overextending with Mario is even like punishing Mario is just yeah. a chore. Yeah. Well Z Zero Suit though, I think she has it. She, has she can. Yeah. She's very fast, so characters like like uh Ninja or Sea Falcon, which I might it's, it's in the way to do that. Again, with Bowser Jr. too. Yeah. <clears throat> Their moves don't come out quite as fast. Nope! Not even Ooh. Close. That was wow. beautiful. Very well done to uh, Rafik, winning that uh, that set 2-0. Uh, so, see you guys in winner and losers fin uh, finals, where Rafik will be facing off against.